So in this video, I'm gonna go over how to use an if function in Microsoft Excel when there's multiple conditions that need to be met. And for me, there's no better way to learn something than by looking at an example. So let's take a look at this example. So here we have a list of a bunch of different bachelors. Okay, this is in the if multiple conditions workbook. And I provided a link to these files in the video description if you wanna follow along. In column A, we have the bachelor's name, and in columns B through D, we have their looks, career, and personality rated on a scale of 1 to 10. And Elizabeth is looking at this uh, worksheet, and she's trying to figure out which of these guys is dateable and which aren't dateable. But she has a pretty simple set of standards. She wants to make sure that their looks, career, and personality are all sixes and above. If one of these categories is a five or below, then in her eyes, these bachelors are not dateable. So we're gonna have to use an if statement with multiple conditions in order to figure this out. However, the if function only checks to see if one condition is true. So how do we check to see if multiple conditions are true? Well, for that, we're gonna have to use an and function. So let's come over here into E2 and let's begin by typing the and function, okay? And now it's asking us for the first logical test. Well, the first logical test is going to be to see if B2 is greater than or equal to 6. Because remember, we wanted to see if each of these different categories is a 6 or above. Okay, now let's type a comma. Now it's asking for the second logical test. Well, that's going to be if C2 is greater than or equal to 6. And let's hit one more comma. And now it's asking for the third logical test which is gonna be if D2 is greater than or equal to six, okay? And you could do as many logical tests as you need, but for this particular example, we only need to do these three logical tests. Now let's close out of this function and let's hit enter. And now we see that this first uh, individual, Arnold, is dateable. So if we copy this down to the second bachelor, Tom, we see that he is not dateable. It's returning the value of false because he may have good looks and a good career, but his personality sucks. So he's not dateable. Now let's do an autofill. And now we see whether or not each of these individuals is dateable, but we don't want it to return the value of true or false. We want it to return the value of yes or no. So we're going to have to use this logical test that we have here within our if statement, okay? So let's initiate the if statement, okay? And now the first logical test is already in here. We wanna use the same logical test. And now the value if true is yes, and the value if false is gonna be no. And let's close out this if statement. And now let's do an autofill and have these copy all the way down. And now we could see who's dateable and who's not dateable. And it's showing up as either yes or no, which is exactly what we wanted. Now let's suppose that Elizabeth is a little bit shallow and she's willing to make an exception on the career and personality if their looks are a 10, okay? Well, it's gonna look a little something like this. Each of these men will be dateable if their looks, career, and personality are all sixes and above or keyword or their looks are a 10. So we're gonna have to use the or function for this. So let's come over here into cell F2 and let's begin typing the or function, okay? And now it's asking us for the first logical test, okay? So that's gonna be if the looks, so B2 equals 10, okay? Because we said if their looks are a 10, then nothing else matters, okay? And then the second logical test, that's gonna be where we add the and function. So we wanna say B2 is greater than or equal to six, comma, C2 is greater than or equal to six, comma, and D2 is greater than or equal to six. And let's close out the, the and function, and now we need to cl close out the original or function. Let's hit enter, and now we see true because one of those conditions was met. But if you look at Tom, originally we determined that he was not dateable, but with this new logic, he should be dateable because his looks were a 10, and now you see that it returns the value of true. 
But we don't want this showing up as true or false in column F. We want this in the original if formula in column E. So let's get rid of all the data in F, okay? And let's come over here to E2 and let's change this formula around. So right before the and, we're going to put the or. And the first logical test is going to be if the looks are a 10. So let's say B2 equals 10. And let's type a comma. Now the second logical test we already have in there, which is checking to see if each category is a six or above, okay? So let's come to the end of the and statement. And now we need to end the or statement that we just began. And now let's hit enter, okay? And let's do an autofill. And now you see which guys are datable with the new criteria. And as you can expect, Tom is now dateable because his looks are a 10, even though his personality is a 2. And that's how you do if statements with more than one condition.